Hey guys, Sally here. So I'm going to do a little brief timeline of this St. Anne Mandeville, Louisiana water tower and set the record straight. I'd like to thank Dandy Panty for getting some information for me and I'd also like to thank Walter for actually being the only person willing to uh, use my suggested method for determining the height yesterday. And let's just kind of talk about the timeline here. Um, <clears throat> so this has been in the news, I mean the Flurf news, if you want to call it that, uh, last few days. And what it seems to be is a seemingly purposeful miscalculation of this water tower's height in order to claim that it's somehow manipulated. Um, this lie has been propagated and has been picked up by other bigger name flat earthers. Uh, but basically it was created by Flat Earth Perth and the title of the video was Liar Liar Pants on Fire. He's uh, blatantly calling me a liar. Uh, it's defamatory. Uh, this video should be taken down, especially in light of the evidence. So a short timeline, Perth creates this and uh, he comes up with a height estimate of this Mandeville water tower of approximate, approximately 27.6 meters. Uh, now, I knew right off that that was incorrect. I didn't hear about this claim for a few days. Actually, I think I briefly heard it in passing, maybe on, um, what was it, Thrive and Survive's channel. Um, but I didn't really know what they were talking about at first. And then Miles Davis came up with a video addressing it. Uh, Miles came up with a video and showed how Flat Earth Perth's uh, estimate, estimation process, his methodology was wrong. Um, based on the methodology he did use, once I saw it in uh, Miles Davis' uh, video, I was like, well, that's, I mean, he's intentionally lying here. Like, it, it just seems to be that he's making gross errors, so much so that the level of neglect to make that type of error and propagate it as truth is dishonest in my opinion. But shortly, shortly after Miles made that, oh, and Miles's estimate was about 48 meters. Shortly after uh, Miles made that video yesterday, I presented the very generic video on determining heights of objects based on their shadow length and the altitude of the sun. And then I uh, reference the tower as something you could possibly use that technique on. Expecting that no flat earther would take me up on that offer. Uh, hoping they would just for an exercise in critical thinking. But they didn't. Uh, yet Walter Bislin uh, commented on, I believe, Miles' video. And when he did, I asked him to comment on my video. Uh, with his estimations, he did. He not only presented an estimation of 49 meters based on the shadow length, he also uh, told you exactly which tile he used, uh, all of his methodology, and he also showed how to calculate the error in his calculation, which was an interesting addition. And I really appreciate that, Walter. Thank you for doing that. And then um, shortly after... Walter posted that, or it might have been about the same time that Walter posted that, uh, Dandy Panty uh, made a phone call earlier today uh, trying to get in, in touch with the engineers that were responsible for building the tower. Uh, he did get a phone, back, a phone call back from an engineer. I won't share his name, but uh, you can look up the company if you'd like to. Uh, and that engineer said that the height of the tower was 169 feet and 11 inches from the concrete base to the top of the crown, which is approximately 51.8 meters. And then on top of that, I looked up the elevation of the ground at that location, which is 18.8 feet, approximately 5.7 meters. So a very good estimate of the St. Anne water tower is approximately 57.5 meters. Um, and I want to point out 
that that is almost a 30 meter error that Flat Earth Perth has made. Actually, the amount of error that he made is more than his estimate estimated height of the tower. That should tell you something. So, in light of those facts, I think Flat Earth Perth's video, uh, that, which is a personal attack and defamatory towards me, the video titled Liar, Liar, Pencil Fire, I believe that should be taken down. And in its place, a retraction video and perhaps an apology. I won't hold my breath, but that's what an ethical person would do. So, I wanted to show you this information real quick as well. Um, the location of the tower, the water tower, is this. Here's the uh, GPS coordinates. And if we take that and bring it over to this LA Flood Maps, which is a map that was created after some of the uh, larger floods in our area uh, by the uh, LSU Agricultural, Agriculture Center, uh, you punch those uh, GPS coordinates in and it brings you to the same exact location. And here's the ground elevation at that location, 18.8 .8 feet. So what we're actually talking about in this video here is a tower whose top, the very top of the tower is at elevation 57.5 meters. It's tall. It's a very tall tower. One extra additional side note, uh, which is actually very interesting and something worth using, is that the width of this tower here is 66 feet. Um, so that can be used to determine like the width of this frame here. It'll give you a very good idea of just how small of a distance we're talking about from left to right in these frames. That's pretty much all I have to say on this. Um, th the one other thing that I would like to add is that Flat Earth Perth has done this before. He, um, he has a tendency to do this, and it's not just Flat Earth Perth. It's Flat Earthers in general have a tendency to do this, which makes me think that they, they know the truth, and they're looking for edgy-type cases to try and fudge the numbers so that they can try and make the truth look wrong. Um, he's done it before with the Little Tenses Bayou. He might have done it other times that I haven't seen. I'm not sure. But other flat earthers do the same thing. Their numbers are always just a little off, but close enough to make it sound maybe plausible. But the question is, why why, if the Earth was flat, do you have to do that? Stop looking at edge cases, flat earthers. That's what I challenge you. Stop looking at edge cases that could be affected by refraction and start looking at obvious observations. Show me a 200-mile observation with zero obstruction. Show me that. Show me a 100-mile observation with zero obstruction. With no ambiguity, find a clear day with great seeing conditions and show it to us. Should be able to do that if the earth is flat, but it's not. So what you guys do is you hunt for edge cases that you can kind of fudge the numbers on to kind of make it seem wrong. And then you guys do that in a two minute video and we take, you know, days and weeks to actually look up the factual information and prove you guys wrong and instead of retracting instead of um, apologizing instead of opening your mind and waking up to reality instead of doing those things what you do is you brush it aside and pretend like it never happened and move on to your next claim why do you ha why do you do that I want, I want you guys to think about that personally how many times you've just brushed something aside thinking well it has to be explained somehow, but I don't, I'm not going to explain it because it's too complicated. How many times have you done that, Flat Earthers? That's what I want to know. How many? Hold yourself accountable. How many times have you done that? Because it's a lot. You have to brush a lot of stuff aside.
Let me look at the chat. Good morning, Rob. Good morning, John, or hello, John. <laughs> Water tower gate. <laughs> Should re retitle it. It's a great one. Uh, hello, Miles. I'm just going to skip ahead here. Oops. Dang it. Where was I? I kind of got lost. Jose Gonzalez in the chat. Hey, what's up, Jose? There's a lot of comments about defamation. This is definitely defamation. When you call people liars um, without evidence, that's defamation. He doesn't have evidence. He calls me a liar. That's defamation. Plain and simple. Heath asks, what's the observer height? Um, that's a good question. Uh, I'm, a, I'm on the 15th floor, and I've always just kind of estimated that. I don't know the exact observer height. I've always estimated that at uh, 10 feet per floor, 150 feet. Could be taller, could be higher, could be lower. But that's, that's a rough estimate. It's pretty good. Ford Wolf, hello. Okay, I think that's pretty much it. I'm just going to leave this one nice and short and sweet. To the point. Thanks for joining, guys. Earlier today. And he was going through uh, a video by Mr. Thrive and Survive and explaining just how much he doesn't understand photography and so just trying to defend himself. Mr. Thrive and Survive essentially um, claiming that Soundly's uh, videos and photographs are, are frauds. They're, they're, they're deliberate.